the relationship between Max and I can be best described as two unneutered Leos. <laughs> um, by which I mean... <laughs> okay, let me take that back. Hi, my name is Raul Gonzalez, and this is Maximilian. I love the way the French Bulldogs look because they seem to be a big dog in a small body. You know, so they're quite compact and appropriate for New York City apartments. We stepped into this pet store and they had a lot of French Bulldogs in there. And he was the most animated, hypered one. He immediately came up to greet me. He was a little guy, four months old. You know, he had broad shoulders like he still does, you know. And uh, I love the fact that he had broad shoulders because he looked like an athlete, like a swimmer, like a go-getter, you know? So um, he was quite charming. I really liked his attitude. And immediately I said, Maximilian, because I always wanted to name uh, my kid Maximilian, but he came before my kid, so, um, which I still don't have. They showed me his pedigree and in it, his birthday showed that it had the same birthday as me, August 17th. And I'm like, wow, that's a sign. I'm like, Maximilian, you're coming with me. So then we bargained and, um, and they gave him to me at a discount. All right, buddy, you were on sale. He was on clearance. Clear as dog. <laughs> Just kidding. If I had to describe Max to anybody, I would describe him as a little gentle lion who thinks he's the king of the jungle, who thinks the world revolves around him. Nonetheless, he is a gentle guy. He likes to take care of people, salute people. He is a very sociable dog. Immediately when he gets into the dog park, he will go first on top of every human being of the dog owners. He's a great PR dog. He learned from me. It's like when you walk into a club or something, you know, you want to find out who the owner is. He does the same thing. He goes into the dog park and, you know, sits on the dog owner's laps. Nutty. Then after that, you know, take him out. Usually I come here to the studio, so he, he he's here. He chases lasers or finds cups, you know, finds things to do. One Halloween night, we had an event here at this uh, space. We did a Halloween party and I dressed up Max as Batman. With his ears and everything, it's perfect for him to look like Batman. So he had a little cape and his Batman outfit. So party's over, we're cleaning up, turning off the lights. And then I hear this noise like, bah, 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 bah. Turn on the light and on the couch, there's this girl in costume, of a kind of a Catwoman costume. She's kind of passed out on the couch and Max is humping her when he's got his cape on and he just looks at me. He's like, hey, I'm having, you know, it's like, dude, it's Halloween. I'm having a good time here. Come on. You know, it's a, it's a very physical relationship, you know, and, and being that he's a male dog, he likes battle. He likes challenges. He likes to be a little gladiator. Oh, I'm second until somebody's coming in. Amy! Hey, Amy. This is Amy. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Max, you gotta stay here. Hi. Come on. Yeah, good yeah. boy. Yeah. All right. It's hard work and it's, it's very, you know, smelly work, especially when you want to continue to lead your life and go out at night and, you know, go to a bar, you come home and it smells like shit. There's a lot of moments like that and you just have to endure it. And now Max is fully house trained and you know, he's, he's, he's great, he's a really obedient dog. All the time that I've invested in, in, in Max and continue to invest can sometimes feel like a burden, but in no way would I take that back. He's a wonderful companion. He's you know, more of a partner um, in crime. The time invested in him is, is, is really, I think it, it helps one to be more lightened up throughout the day. You know, the day is kind of gray and there's negativity or whatever. He definitely takes care of that and, and puts positivity into your life. The relationship between Max and I can be best described as two unneutered Leos that take life by the horns and really, you know, we like to have a lot of fun times together. I think we both are a little, you know, we're adventurous and we like to have fun and, and, and you know, wrestle and be very physical, you know, we're very go-getters. Max, come here! Maximilian! 
Come on, I'm talking about you. You need to be over here. Get up here. Come on, up, up. Come here, Max. Here. Come here, Max. Come here, buddy. Ready? Ready? Set. Set. Go. Ah, oh, good boy. Who's your good boy? All right. All right. Who's your good boy? If we're gonna be talking about you, we gotta have you in the shot. You know, he's like my best friend, and uh, you know, we, we fight a lot, right, buddy? You know, we wrestle, yeah, we cuddle, and um, you know, he comes out with me a lot. He goes to, to, to a couple of bars with me that they, they let him in, because now he's got a fake ID, right? And um, try to take him out as much as possible to restaurants where I can eat outside, so the summertime is great, um, beautiful days are good, because you can come with me, right? When I play music and the music is loud, he gets excited, he gets hyper, and he'll start going around destroying things, you know. He's a rock and roll dog, I think that's our relationship. We're two unordered rock and roll Leos. <laughs> Last words I'd like to add is do not get a French Bulldog. Just kidding, no. Um, they're a lot of work. They're very smelly dogs. You know, they slobber all over. They can be stinky. But man, they are incredible. Man, worth every stink.